You know, I get questioned a lot on the topic of leadership. You know, I've sat with Butch Jones and the football team, the leadership council, and they've asked me, hey, Inc., what's your definition of leadership? You know, I go and speak quite often, and when I open up the floor for Q&A, one of the first questions is usually, hey, Inc., what's your definition of leadership? And my answer is always simple. I say, somebody that's willing to go first. And people always respond by saying, what do you mean, go first? Like, what are you talking about? And I said, I'm going to give you all an example. When I was in high school, I attended one of the lowest performing public schools in the whole state of Georgia. I grew up in Atlanta. We're talking about the whole state of Georgia. The dropout rate was higher than the graduation rate. The name of my high school was Crim High School. They used to call it Crime High in Atlanta. My mother and father attended the same high school. When they attended that high school, the name of it was Murphy High School. They used to call it Murder High in Atlanta. Today, I think it is the lowest performing public school in the whole state of Georgia. And so my freshman year at this school, I excelled, four sport athlete, did well, excelled in the classroom. At the end of my freshman year, my mother and father came to me and said, Inky, listen, coaches across town at Tucker High School, which is one of the top performing programs and still is in the whole state of Georgia, said all you have to do is come and play football for them. The next three years, they guarantee your scholarship to the University of Georgia. Sweet deal, right? Nobody in my family had been to college. But me being a kid that I was at the time, I said, Mom and Dad, I really appreciate the offer, but I think I can make it from Crim High School. They said, Inc., that's going to be really hard. You know, people people just don't make it. You know, Division One. the chances of that happening are slim to none. I said, yeah, but I think I can do it. Needless to say, my mother and father transferred me over to Tucker High School anyway. They just felt I didn't know what I wanted and needed at that time, and they did. They thought Tucker High School had the best resources. They thought it was easy street. All I had to do was go and play ball, and they wanted me to get a scholarship, and they wouldn't have to pay for my education, which they couldn't afford. And so they thought they were doing me a favor. And so I got over to Tucker High School, first football game, tore the ligaments in my ankle out for the season. Needless to say, at the end of that season, I convinced my mother to transfer me back to Krim High School. First football game my junior year, I broke my clavicle out for the season again. And so the summer heading into my senior year ball, I, I decided that I would move forward and still play ball. And I was blessed with a scholarship to the University of Tennessee from Krim High School, one of the lowest performing public schools in the whole state of Georgia. 